Hey guys, what's up? It's Little Pluto here, and today we're doing a unboxing and review of the Kumon Beginner Shogi set. Uh, this seems like an interesting enough thing to make a video on. Uh, I wouldn't make this on like a normal chess set because everybody knows chess, but for Shogi, it's pretty hard to, to get started here in America. You go on Amazon, there's like three options for boards. One of them is made by Nintendo, the other one's made by Kumon, and then like another one's made by some some premium Japanese brand that I cannot pronounce. But yeah, I went for the Kumon one because it actually should show you the movement of each of the tiles. Um, this entire package is in Japanese, so I don't understand it. But I, I chose this so it, once I actually learn the rules of Shogi, I can actually like teach my friends easier by having the movements on the pieces to, to help them out. But yeah, let's get it, let's get it open. So the box itself is not sealed, but on the back, one Japanese do not understand any of it, but it seems that we get a board, um, a little platform thing for us to keep something on. I need to learn more shogi. <laughs> uh, then instruction manuals, and then our pieces. I think it's saying don't don't choke. <laughs> yeah, don't choke. Um, so yeah, let's get this baby open. Don't say hi to Fenway, my roommate's cat. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Okay, so the, so so the board itself is saran wrapped, which is nice. Okay, let's see what we have here. So. Off the box, uh, right off the bat, it looks like kind of like IKEA style, like wood construction, where it's like plywood, but some like thin paneling to make it look nice, I guess. Um, got a metal hinge, that's nice. It looks like that when you fold it, it should be flat, which is a good thing. Seems like there's space inside for you to keep the pieces, and the pieces themselves do have the movements on them which is nice. Um, let's get this open. Okay. It's actually harder to do handed, but open sesame. Oh, this is an interesting touch. The, the hinges on this side panel here have like the wooden inserts instead of like metal or something. And it has like that traditional like Japanese like bento box style thing on the side. Okay. okay, luckily the pieces are all wrapped up so they're not gonna come spilling out. I'm just gonna fast forward this. In the edit. Okay, we got that out. Um, so we got the pieces for one side here. They're in this plastic saran wrap, and they are indeed red on the other side, indicating they're they're upgraded. So that's one side. So the other sides. Yep. So we have this warning in Japanese that I don't understand, and. We have this instruction in Japanese that I don't understand. I'm guessing we rotate it to open. Yeah. Oh, we got our little platform things. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't slam shut. Okay. Got some more silica beads, but we have our platform things, which I'm guessing also will contain the, the pieces when we keep it inside the box. So the inside is... Hmm. Okay, so these th this box piece doesn't really line up well with each other. It kind of rattles around, but it says Kumo inside, which is pretty okay. Um, and then, I guess you just place it like this. And boom, you have your two platform things. The hinge looks pretty solid. The, the, the clasp on the side is plastic, but it seems very high quality. Um, and the feet are kind of cheapy, like foam, so I'm not really too impressed with that. And the inside, it's just, it's just a rough, like wood. 
Um, so if this is like in your backpack, it's going to clang around a lot. Um, so I'm probably going to do a modification where I install some felt inside here, just so it doesn't clang around. But here's the box. And let's get this baby open. Yeah, so the rubber feet do have good contact, so that's, that's very nice. Um, one weird thing is that the center line is not like exactly in the center, which is kind of weird to me, but that's okay. Um, yeah, see, they don't line up exactly, but that's, that's okay. Um, for like one of the cheaper options on Amazon, this is actually pretty feeling pretty nice. Um, the wood is very nice. Um, no splinters that I can tell of. Um, the board is flat when I open it. Um, yeah, it's just a nice looking board. I guess we have this on the side here. Yeah, it's, it's a very nice set, and I do think that these markings on the pieces will help me teach my friends. But yeah, but one interesting point is that... For the box that holds all the pieces, right? It's very hard to get it like flush. Like there's just like too many, too many pieces. And oops, I did the wrong side, so that's even harder now. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it would be possible to get all the pieces um, flush within here, right? Maybe you have to like meticulously pack them in there. But just kind of like I'm running, I. I want to pack up, I will toss them in here. I put the lid on. It doesn't close flushly, kind of shake around so it settles. Nothing really happens, so it has that little gap. But it actually helps out because when I close this guy, and I close the plastic hinge, there's not like too much like wiggle. I think actually just putting some foam tape on the inside, and I do believe I have that, um, will help out. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm just going to put some foam tape on the ends, and then kind of like foam railings within the inside of the board. I don't think I need um, the whole thing to be felt lined. So yeah, I'll show you guys that mod in a second. Okay, so I actually went ahead and used this um, to actually felt the inside of this, and... As you can see, it worked out pretty well. No more banging. Um, it's actually pretty useful stuff to have. I actually use it for um, pull up bar so it doesn't scratch the door frame. As you can see, yeah. But here's what it looks like on the inside. You know, now, now it has all black felt inside. Took me a while to to cut out all those strips to put it in, but now with that modification, it's no more banging around. And I didn't notice in the first unboxing, but it actually has the screw on rule book all in Japanese. So I guess I'll be using that to learn how to play, as well as the online version.